What's up, everybody? Johnny Renzulli here, and tonight we're going to discuss my DNA results. I did take a ancestry DNA test. Um, it's been about five weeks. I just got the results back. Figured I'd make a little video. I do enjoy watching uh, other DNA test results, so I figured I'd make one myself. <clears throat> Excuse me and see what comes up. So, a little background on what I am. Um, my father is all Italian, heavy Italian culture. All uh, four of my great grandparents are Italian. Three being from Central South Italy, Naples, Foggia area, and my one great grandparent, my great grandfather's people were from Genoa, which is in northern Italy. So they're all Italian. Now, my mother's side, she's a little bit more mixed up. My mother is half Lithuanian. My grandmother, her mother, is all Lithuanian, and her parents were Lithuanian, so they're full Lithuanian. Now, my grandfather, my mother's father, he's a little mixed up. He is, or was, Spanish, Italian, Scottish, and German. So my father's all Italian, and my mother is half Lithuanian, and half Spanish, Italian, German, and Scottish. That's what I've been told. So we're going to open up the results and see if Ancestry got close to those results. <clears throat> okay. Ethnicity estimate. So we have a pie chart, and it is 40% Italy, Greece. And then there is 28% Europe, East, and 33% other regions. So we will hit full ethnicity estimate and see what it comes up with. Okay. So right off the bat, there's a, something I didn't know, is Asia, 1%, and that is Asia South. And that consists of India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. So 1% Asia being Asia South. Interesting. So now we're on to Europe, 93% European. The biggest region being Italy at 40%. 40% Italy, Greece. That I knew was going to be high. And then we have Europe East, which is 28%. My mother being half Lithuanian. Lithuania is an Eastern European country, so that makes total sense. 10% Europe West, and Europe West, I believe, consists of Germany, yes, my great-grandmother, my grandfather's mother, was Scottish and German, so that makes sense that I'm 10% Europe West. And it also makes sense that my great-grandfather on my father's side, who was Genoese, Northern Italian, um, when you um, hit West Europe, the circle does go around the top of of Italy. So that would make sense too, that I would have 10% Europe West. The next region is Ireland. Ireland is 5%. So my grandfather being a quarter Scottish makes sense. And Ireland region consists of Ireland, Wales, Scotland. So 5% Ireland. And then Great Britain is also 5% Great Britain. That could be from the Scottish as well. Um, it could also be from the Romans, my Italian side. The Romans did occupy Britain for a, quite a while. Britain is named after uh, the Romans. The Romans named Britain Britannia. So that could be that. Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian, the emperor, built his wall there. So Great Britain could possibly have something to do with that. Or Scotland. I'm not shocked. Trace regions. Uh, Iberian Peninsula, 2%. My grandfather was uh, a quarter 
Spanish, so that makes sense. And Iberian Peninsula is Portugal and Spain. And then my next region is um, European Jewish, 2%. Now, that could come from two things. That could either come from what this is saying right in front of me when I hit Eastern European Jews is uh, Poland, Belarus, but it's also found in Lithuania. So somewhere down the line, there could be uh, Jewish there or there could be Jewish from the, again, Romans, the Roman Emperor, Empire. There were a lot of Jews in Italy during that time. So that's a possibility. And then my final European region is Scandinavia, 1%, which I'm not too shocked about because when I see other people's videos of all backgrounds and all races, a lot of them have at least 1% Scandinavian in them because the Vikings got all around, as we could see, and being 1% doesn't shock me. And then my final region is in West Asia. So I am 6%. West Asia, and that consists of the Middle East. So I'm 6% Middle Eastern, and those countries are Syria, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Oman, Yemen, United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, and Israel, also in Iran and Pakistan. So that's my breakdown. It's pretty on point. Um, I'm not shocked about the Middle East because people with Italian heritage usually have some Middle Eastern in them. So that doesn't shock me. So the rundown again is Asia being Asia South, that's 1%. And then Europe, 93%. Italy, Greece being 40%. Europe East being 28%. Europe West being 10%. Ireland being 5%. Great Britain being 5%. Um, Iberian Peninsula, 2%, European Jewish, 2%, Scandinavian, 1%, and West Asia being 6%, and that is the Middle East. That is my genetic breakdown. I am going to download my uh, raw DNA to DNA, DNA Land and GEDmatch. I heard DNA Land is a little bit more um, easier to understand and very similar to Ancestry. So that I'll be doing first. I will download my raw data to DNA land and then GEDmatch. And I will come back with a comparison video and we'll see how they compare. So that was my DNA background. I hope you uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. It was pretty much on point and I will see you in time. Peace out.